Man, you guys ever have those cheddar filled Smokies and then take a bite in it and it just like explodes all over your face and like burns you because the cheddar's still hot? No, just me, I guess. Yeah, and yeah, I'm walking down my back alley just for dramatic effect to make uh, me eating wieners seem less weird. It's actually like the bejesus hot out today. For Canada, anyways. Let's get the probe mobile out of here first. This thing just fires up like a dream, I swear. <laughs> Man, am I ever glad to have the cooling issue solved in this thing. Still gotta pull it out, put our trans cooler in there, but mint and build a charge pipe. Not today, buddy. And today we're dealing with more serious things. Stay focused with me. You're not gonna wanna not enjoy it. I bet the pool's pretty warm. Man. We've got a mission for you after. I can't believe Tokyo left the seven and a half inch rear end in this thing. He was supposed to get it out. He got all the bolts ready to come out and then he just left it. Kind of scumbag. Can't install the 8.8 without removing the 7.5 first. Gina, you owe me by the way. Man, with nature this close, who wouldn't want to do this in nature? Obviously, you guys are like, Kyle, what's in the box? And I've hinted at this before, and if you remember this little twinkle right here from Sick Week, you'll understand what's in the box. I have spray painted it, but you can still kind of see it. Really durable box, like super durable box. You, you see what I just did with that? You did a good job too, man. But look at it here. Who wouldn't love this? That's why I brought it here. I brought it here because that's probably the furthest this thing's gonna go for a little bit. And it's just gonna be like an ornament until I get the rest of the pieces. But it's still the most beautiful thing I ever did see. And obviously I spray painted all the addresses just so nobody sends butt plugs to my house. And I kind of spray painted the side just so we can make a little more dramatics. You know, let's bring it home first. You kind of got to get a push start. The clutch in this thing, not happy. I broke the box! Really dumb box. Uh, man, this just goes to show how unprepared shipping companies are. It's also like 90 degrees out Fahrenheit. I didn't even do the Celsius because nobody cares. Uh, so I'm kind of sweaty. That's like 100 feet away, man. Man, my CrossFit class isn't even until five. That box is no more good. Really dumb box. All right, tell me one thing you learned about our little pull test. I got out of breath because that was that was hard and CrossFit's not till five. So as you guys can see, in true it's just a six fashion, 
we're saving the manuals. This is a G-Force, best of the best, best money can buy, T56 transmission. Time for the epic B-roll shot. Just hit it with some twisted T for that awesome effect. It's basically got all the billet inside of it. It's got this billet tick performance front plate on it, which uh, has an oil spray bar for the gears, I am told. Now it's definitely fun to go fast with an auto. I'm not gonna lie, like the wheelies and everything are awesome. Off at the eight. 897, 117. It's just you get to a certain level where it feels so you're you're done chasing the numbers and I don't know, it doesn't it doesn't feel as rewarding really. We're probably gonna end up running the auto for the rest of the season just because we haven't ran it yet and we got this a little bit late. Basically, T56, this is for our drag and drive car, which is my Mustang, and this thing's gonna make it so much easier to drag and drive, except if we break it. Like I said, this thing's got billet all over the place. Look at that. That's like middle class fancy right there. I shouldn't even have this. Oh shit, that's me. You can find me on Instagram, KYL3 Williams, but same thing. Uh, we have our gear set here, uh, 270 first gear, which is almost the same as my Turbo 400, but a 0.5 uh, sixth gear. Now, instead of cruising on the highway at 65 mile an hour at like 3,200 RPM, will be basically like half that because the final drive in a turbo 400 is one to one. So point or 1.00. Essentially fourth gear in a manual transmission. Sometimes it's fifth gear. And now, and now our final gear 0.50. So literally half the RPM it's gonna take to go the same speed with this as it does in a turbo 400 without a gear vendor's overdrive. And even still a gear vendor's overdrive, I believe, is only like in this area right here, the 0.74. So we can cruise in fifth gear with this car. And in fact, I, I might have to, I might not have enough motor, I might just drag it down to cruise in sixth. <clears throat> and G-Force Transmissions has been super, super awesome. And my friend Rich, who took me on sick week with him in the Pontiac GTO was running literally this identical transmission. And you've seen how well that did. It was a 4,000 pound car. We went an eight second average with a best time of 877 in a manual GTO. And like the thing blew my mind because we drove all the way from Canada, all the way down to Florida, which was like 4,000 miles. Did the sick week event, drove back the 4,000 miles. So I think we did somewhere around like eight or 9,000 miles total once we added it all up. And the transmission took all the abuse. It was awesome. And that is, like I, I was dead set on going manual transmission since then. And I'm sure you guys noticed it in my videos if you watch those. Externally, this looks exactly like a T56 transmission except for the billet front plate here. But it is a dog box transmission. Basically, it has dog teeth on all the synchros instead of synchros with a strain gauge or like a something to trigger your ignition to drop ignition timing. You can just pull straight from first to second gear under full throttle without having to use a clutch. You only use the clutch to launch the car, and then it's first, second, third, fourth. And this is basically on the same level that all the fastest H pattern manual cars in the world are running on. This transmission right here. Now I'm so grateful for this, and I'm so thankful for you guys for subscribing, because without you guys, we wouldn't have cool stuff like this. So who's ready to see some manual car passes in the future? Me, actually. I wanna, I wanna race manuals. So on top of what we have here, we have to get a new bell housing, uh, a clutch setup and a shifter setup and another drive shaft. So there is some work to be done to this thing before we can install it. So what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna pull the auto turbo 400 out of my car, which I literally just put all billet stuff in it. It's about as built as a turbo 400 you can get um, without going to like a reed case. So we're gonna get rid of that and the converter and then that'll fund uh, the stuff for this thing. So thank you G-Force Transmissions. This will probably go on the shelf for a little bit right here just cause it's almost the end of the season. But look at it, man. It's so amazing. I'm so grateful for this thing. I'll be right back. Promise Sully, I'd be a wilderness man with him. It's so beautiful out there. It's like our front yard now. Yeah. And here's the pathway. Look how beautiful the shelter is. Look at Absolutely beautiful. <laughs>
So I've had this for a while. I just haven't had time to install it. So I have an RSX I was gonna steal for the K-Swap, but then we decided we should make it a circle track car, so I bought that cage, I just haven't had time to put it in yet. So if anybody wants to come put that in for me. Built our first Ford today, yeah, yeah. Now we're gonna go drop this off to Paul. Look at this scrapyard here. Bro ain't got no doors. Oh. This is the one he just exploded the motor into. He blew that up. Bro, somebody jacked your wheels. Yeah, I mean, that's what happens in this neighborhood. Yeah, you live in the sketchy part of town here. Well, they, they took my trunk, my rear glass, my doors, my subframes. They left the speakers though, I've seen that. Yeah, that's good. I brought you this thing, whether you use it or not. It's up to you. Well, we're gonna use this to hopefully start my car. Yeah, so junk here, junk here, because you just exploded the motor in this one, right? Yeah, that, uh... So now the push to get your actual drift car. Pretty much, I was gonna try and fix this thing quickly, but then... You exploded the motor? Decided to finish that. Equally as junk though, so... Equally, yes. I thought about dry, like building a slidey car, but I just don't, I'm not a sideways kind of guy. I, I think I'd rather do turns than sideways turns. Well. Cool. Try to like finish this car in like a few days. See? Boom. Cool. Kyle finishes cars in a few days, Cost slash man. years. <laughs> so what's the body? What's the body? Engine? Uh, 2,000 323i E46. Uh, engine's a LQ9 6 liter out of a Escalade. Then I did like BTR, stage three cam, trunnion kit, uh, push rods, dual valve springs. The yeah. good stuff, so I can rev high. Hopefully. Basically junkyard motor with a decent valve train in it and Le it'll spin to 7,000 all day. Legitimately junkyard engine. We got it from a junkyard in Red Deer. Nice. Yeah, don't get it from here because they, uh, they be a $4,000 engine. The oh, big boy BTR man, fool. One of those on Gina's car. Yeah, Those are made for like revving really high. Also, I've decided I'm going to film whatever I want. I'm not going to try and fit into any YouTube meta. I'm making my own. I'm just being me. So if you don't like it, it is what it is. I love you, you stupid <laughs> ass. And now it's really unlike Tokyo to leave something half done. So we might as well get this rear end out for him because it needs to get out. 30 days till Miles of Mayhem. 30 days. Look at this junk. Kind of just letting it hang by itself. I have a feeling Tokyo didn't take all the bolts out though. Here you go, Tokyo. Daddy Kyle finishing the job for you. Oh, it's hanging from a brake line now. Oof. Oh no, brake fluid on the floor. Shocking. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. That can go too. I mean, we might reuse that. Put twin turbos through whatever. I might be able to. I can grab the whole thing. Yep. Don't do that. It looks so clean and fresh back here now. To be honest, the underside of this car isn't horrible. Like the other one was way worse. This is a, like a lot of surface rust and stuff, but the other one was like. 10 times worse than this one. Gas tank got to come out next. For the record, I was talking mad shit about you on camera before I came over here, so. Why? I don't know, for fun. All right. I was like, we took all the bolts of it and you just left it in there. Left what in where? The rear end in the car? No, the rear end was underneath the car. The only thing that was left was the top bolts for the boxes. Everything was, there. the rear end was on the ground. No, no, not this one, the one in the Malibu. Oh, oh, my house, yeah. Well, I was excited for Gina's car. Yeah. And I'm fat, and it's hard to be on the ground. <laughs> You're skinny, and it's pretty much like CrossFit. Okay, I get it. I had her under the car getting these out. Why? Those are for the box mounts. Okay. Bro, give me that shaft. 
You can tell where we like left zip ties touching the drive shaft. You don't need to worry about zip ties. Zip you don't need to worry about bias plies. Look how epic you are right now. Just walk back a little bit and then the, you block the sun and the sun's like around. This is like a, uh, the front of a label. Nine thousand. Death Row is the label that pays man. Death Row Records, that's like the, the label cover right now. Ugh. Thirty more days, Tokyo. So I did stop in and talk to Dylan. Yeah. And uh, Eugene, our EP. He said pretty much any day that it's not raining, they do mobile glass. And I said, well, both of them are in a vehicle. And then I was talking to Dylan about the rear windows, and he said they're once you take the moldings. Yep. And the mounts off. He said they're just held on with butyl. So these rear windows, once they heat up, should pop right out. Perfect. So I'll probably come to your place tomorrow, take the rear inner panels off so that when I call Eugene to come, he can pull. Eugene's gonna come for you? Yeah, he's gonna, he can pull the rears and the front glass and well, then the go down. The only reason he wanted to pull the rear glass is that it's already tinted. Yeah, and I know that tint is normally cheap, but this is, um. <laughs> it's like, it's not even connected right there. No, this is, uh, Expel ceramic plus uh, heat rejection tint. So, okay. like, I'm pretty sure to redo my rear, just these two rears would probably be 200 bucks. 